Write an equivalent expression with positive exponents. Let's do it. So the first thing I would do on this problem is separate all of the variables into their, I mean, if it needs to be a fraction, that's fine. I mean, well, let's make all of them fractions, actually. So I've got a to the power of 7 over 1 times b to the power of negative 5 over 1 times 1 over c to the power of negative 10 because the c to the power of negative 10 is in the denominator. So <clears throat> I'll reciprocate where it's necessary, and if it's not, then I won't. So a to the power of 7 already has a positive exponent. It's just going to stay a to the power of 7, make it over 1. But this b to the power of negative 5, we should reciprocate. So that, let me fix that, 5, there we go. The b to the power of 5 is now in the denominator because the exponent was negative. But we don't just reciprocate that one. We've got to reciprocate these as well since c to the power of negative 10 has a negative exponent. So that's c to the power of 10 over 1 now. At this point, we can just multiply all the numerators. So a to the power of 7 times 1 times c to the power of 10. We don't really need the 1 there. And in the denominator, 1 times b to the 5th times 1 would be b to the power of 5. And that will be our final answer.